Hi guys, welcome to the Victoria Outdoors on Earth channel. Today we're going to be making an ecosystem in a jar. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's go into the video. So the jar we're going to be using today is just this coffee jar. And it's just, give you a close up, just normal sort of jar. Just I've just cleaned it out so that's why it's a bit wet. So first we're going to take our rocks here just normal gravel rocks and i don't really want to crack the glass so we're going to that's a big one i don't really see that's a lot of rocks in there so i don't really want that many so i'm going to take them out Not get my hand out. Sorry, I know that um, most of the ecosystem in jar videos consists of a person going into their backyard, getting some dirt, and kind of letting it just go like that. But I want to just make it my own ecosystem, so we're going to get the find the animals ourselves. Get, use just some normal body mix and let's put some, and just let that grow like that. So we don't want to have some, you know, like things that will fill off the ecosystem. That's already that's already enough dirt. So that's what we're up to. And next we'll get grow our moss. Oh, it's falling apart, it's falling apart. Push that in. Oh, I'll flat it down a bit. So this uh, should be having it right, like that. So that'll be the front of the kind of thing. The front of the jar. And at the back we'll have our plant. Our main plant. I'll show you what the plant is later. We're gonna grow it from seed. So I think that's enough moss. So if I grab grab the camera, that's the jar so far. So let's just start playing. So now we're gonna get our plants and the seeds we're using to plant the plant are actually radish so they're going to grow in there and what will be really cool is because over this side we'll be able to see the radish growing so we'll pop these these seeds in I, I will get to put two or three in I'll show you the seeds Oh, a bit too many in my hand. These have actually been like not died. They haven't been died. They've been sprayed with a chemical that doesn't allow them to go like all all bad and stuff. Get the bugs into them. So we'll pop some in and. There we go. Put them back in there. And the radish will grow and that will kind of be the main plant. So that's it so far. Now we're going to add the animals. If look in this log here. And let's see what animals are under it. Okay. Just got some earthworms. And that's a mealworm. That's cool. Yeah, well, 
they've always been cool to, to me. Yeah, that's the first log. Come on. Um, nothing really interesting. I saw this little spider. So he's really cool, so I'll put him in. Hi. What are we gonna start with? I think the grub. So these are called rip chitty grubs. They actually caught, turn into this really cool beetle called a Christmas beetle that if you think you know, you probably know that they turn up around Christmas time. And they're really cool to watch fly around. So I'll put him in. Take a little hole for him. The reason I didn't get too many worms is because it doesn't have that much substrate later. So I'll put you in. You gonna dig down? And let our flame in. Gonna watch that spider in case it's poisonous. But, which it probably isn't because I literally just grabbed it a few seconds ago. You know what? I'll just see it all. But. Spider. Go. Oh. You just stained my head. Okay, that's a spider. No. Nah, he did not just. I'll put the meal in and then I'll go. Grab it. Okay, I'll put you in as well. Get him. Good. Spider. Okay, sadly, I didn't find any more of those little cool spiders, but I did find a, what's the camera? Oh, there. Yeah. A few isopods, or roly polies, or whatever you want, or wood lice, or whatever you call them. So, they're basically, what would clean up you know, clean up the tank. So I can go in. And yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be giving you updates soon. And like and subscribe please.